In February 2018, I went to see Noel Gallagher. He came to Toronto with his band, The High Flying Birds, and me and my brother uh, decided to get tickets and meet him. My brother and I waited for five hours outside the venue because that's when he would come out and sign photos and albums and do meet and greets. When he finally came out, we all lined up in a single file line and we waited for our turn to come when he would sign our stuff. For some reason, the security guard there thought that I skipped the line and just as my turn was about to come, he booted me out. He wouldn't allow me to sign anything to the point where he started threatening me and saying that if I kept it up, he would end the meet and greet and take Noel back into the venue. And that's exactly what happened. Noel went back inside and I took this picture of Noel and my brother. In February 2018, something else also happened. I released a poetry collection called A Rush to the Stars. It had 150 poems about loss and heartbreak and hurt and how it feels like when someone leaves you. Basically all the tropes of a normal angsty teenager type. It did well. It gave me confidence. It sold a bunch of copies. I mean, it didn't do like record-breaking numbers or it didn't like climb any charts but it did enough for me to gain my confidence and to get my voice out there and people seemed to like it people told me that it was sad and it was heartbreaking just as I intended it to be and that they could relate to it and that they really really liked some of the poems and some of them were a bit juvenile but you know if I keep at it I might get somewhere it did enough for me to feel accomplished I mean I had a book out there in the real world in physical format that's a big deal. Just a short aside, I sent that book to one of my favorite authors of all time, Jan Martel, who wrote this book, and he sent me a postcard back that said this. Come on. That's pretty insane. After that, I hit a roadblock. I couldn't write. Words weren't coming to me as easily as they were before. I tried to write my novel again to no avail. Uh, sentences weren't forming. Ideas weren't meshing like they used to and it was just a mess. Stories were getting jumbled up in my head and thoughts were cross over other thoughts and make this one huge big meta thought that made no sense at all and I felt like I was losing my direction and my sense of purpose. It was a difficult time because I think I wanted to say things, I just didn't have anything to say. And it was a tough, it was tough to come to that realization when you're just starting your writing journey. Just an aside, look how pretty my walk is. Very nice. Nicely done. Then a year went by, and then another year went by, and then a one after that. Pretty soon, it was the end of 2020, and a pandemic had happened. I had fallen in love. I had been loved by this person that I fell in love with. Uh, school was coming to a close. Friends were coming and going and moving on and doing bigger and better things. I was on to doing bigger and better things, I hope at least. I mean, life happened. Like, I had lived life. And it happened all of a sudden, and it happened as soon as I stopped trying to make it happen. At the end of 2020, I had words again, and they made sense. And one word after the other 
made a sentence and each sentence made a paragraph and each paragraph made more paragraphs and suddenly I was writing stories again. These words became sentences and prose and eventually poetry. <sighs> so after that, I wrote. I wrote when the inspiration was coming and when the inspiration wasn't coming. I wrote about falling in love and being in love and being loved with the person that you fell in love with. I wrote about my passions and I wrote about things that I like and dislike. I wrote about the deep thoughts in my head that I'm scared to talk about out loud. And I wrote and I wrote and I wrote until I couldn't write anymore, until I was done, until everything that I had to say had been said and it was out there on the page, ready to be read, ready to be edited, ready to be fixed. And all those words that I was trying to string along before formed these poems that formed this collection. But I didn't know what to call it. I didn't know how to phrase it so it became all encompassing. Then this song came on. A dream is all I need to get by. A dream is all I need to get by. A dream is all I need to get by. Through meeting someone, through falling in love, through forming this tight, mind-bending, soul-wrenching bond. Through the pandemic, when the words seem to just cease to exist. Through the long and dark nights where the happiness and the light just seem to disappear and the depressions and the anxieties took over. So that's what I bring to you. A dream. What I needed to get by. What my friend Noel here is trying to say. What he wrote about. And what is now yours to carry. In February 2018, two things happened. One, I didn't get to meet Noel Gallagher. And two, I had a poetry collection come out. Today, in the here and now, I think I've tried to fuse those two things together. And it kind of feels good. <laughs>